Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be talking about what if Luke left Aksu. Like, actually went there physically. I think if he went there physically, like, actually went there, didn't, like, force project himself, it would have completely changed everything. And I think the galaxies we know it would change. And episode 8 would end way differently. And episode 9 would probably be a lot different too. So anyways, let's get into it. Also, I'm going to be making a Halloween video. I'll post it on the day of Halloween. So yeah, get ready for that. But anyways, on to the story. We are in Octu. Luke Skywalker is meditating when he hears a voice. Luke, who said that. The Force Ghost of Obi-Wan Kenobi appears and approaches Luke. What happened to the Luke Skywalker I trained anew? The Luke who was brave, not a coward. Luke who never gave up. Who never lost hope. When you first started your training, you were a new hope to the galaxy. Now, you are their only hope. What are you going to do? Let them all die? Luke responds by saying, The First Order is too strong for me alone to face. Luke, you are the most powerful Jedi to ever exist. With you leading the Resistance alongside your sister, you bring down the First Order for sure. You just need the courage. I already failed my students, especially Ben. I don't want to fail anyone else. You can make up for that by saving the galaxy one last time and redeeming. Ben, if you don't, you will have never truly redeemed yourself. You are a Jedi Master, the greatest Jedi to ever live. No Vader wannabe and some stormtroopers are going to stop you. You're right, but how do I leave? I don't have a ship. Then how did you get here? All we want said is he disappeared back into the forest. Luke reached out with the forest. Using his untapped power he hadn't used since the days of his temple. And with ease, picked up his X-Wing from when he first came to Octu. He got into his ship and finally left for Kraids. We are on Kraid. Luke showed up this time. He walked out of the base and ignited his green blade, facing the many first order, AT, ATs, and Kylo's ship. Kylo tells them, I want every ship to fire on that man. And simultaneously, every single ship and walker fires on Luke. Luke dodges or deflects every single shot, but they just keep coming. They're never ending. More. More! Kyle demanded. Eventually, Hux told them that that was enough. Luke stepped out of the dust, brushed his shoulder, and smirked. And then said, my turn. He picked up an AT-80 AT-ATs, destroying them all in a huge explosion. Dirty shroom shoot. Earth's getting out of the AT-ATs. As Kylo Ren, with 15 stormtroopers at his side, landed. Now, Kylo Ren and 45 stormtroopers prepared to fight Luke Skywalker. Kylo was overconfident. But he knew he couldn't handle Luke. He had to think of something quick or he would be overpowered in an instant. So he reached out with the force as rebels started to flee. Leia felt a grasp on her throat as she was lifted in the air. Luke realized what was happening. If you surrender, she lives. If you fight, she dies. Kyla exclaimed. Luke had to make a quick choice. Two stare at each other. Kyle is pushed back 10 feet with the force. He quickly gets up to see Ray standing right next to Luke Skywalker. Kylo's grip of Leia had broken and she starts to recover. Luke says to Ray, shouldn't be here. This isn't your fight. Go help Leia. She needs it much more than I do. Ray begrudgingly obliges and rushes to help Leia, who's okay. While he watches Ray leave, out of the corner of his eye, he sees Kylo Ren rush him with his blade ignited. Luke barely dodges in time. Kylo faces Luke in the front, and the troopers shoot at him from the back. He dodges all of their attacks, jumping in the air and sending the most powerful shockwave of force energy he could summon, eviscerating the troopers, turning them all to dust. Kylo stands strong. Then Luke would push Kylo back. Kylo would hold on to the ground and regain his footing and walk towards Luke till he would face one-on-one. -on -one. You realize 
Snoke is using you for your power. The power of the Skywalker bloodline. Just like what happened to Vader. After he's done and fully overtaken the galaxy, he'll get rid of you. No, I don't think that will happen. I killed Snoke and I killed his guards. I'm more powerful than he could ever be. Only in your mind, Ben, you can still redeem yourself as my father did. No, this is not going to go like that. I am going to kill you, unlike your weak father. Both leap into a duel. Luke toys with him, easily outclassing Kylo. So Kylo use all of his rage and grow by the second in power. Luke was surprised at how powerful Kylo had become. He force pushed Luke back a few feet, then jumped in the air and brought his blade down towards him. Then they commenced in a blade lock, using all his strength. He pushed on Luke, forcing him to lean back. He slid under Kylo, slicing off his right forearm with his blade, then force pushing him 70 feet back. Though injured, Kylo's immense hatred would cause him to jump back into battle. But Hux tells him he will lose, so he must come with him. Using force speed, he jumps onto the ship and blasts off before Luke Skywalker can even react. The resistance would regroup. Luke would begin training Finn, well, Leia, train Rey, the proper ways of the Jedi. Over the next year, they would grow in power. So would the resistance. Luke would reconnect with Leia and all of his old friends. Hearing the good news of Luke's return, Lando joined the resistance and he rallied for the resistance which would go on and cause it to grow twice in size. Kylo would leave Krayt and go to a First Order medical facility, getting a new cybernetic form. But he starts hearing a call, a voice from the unknown regions. He follows it to Exegol. He walks into a gigantic building with humongous pillars and walls. And before him was the rotting body of Emperor Palpatine. He approaches him and ignited his cross guard blade. Emperor Palpatine? How is this possible? My boy, I was the most powerful Sith ever. I know how to escape death, but there's something I need you to do for me. I won't be a servant to anyone anymore. I don't think you have that choice, Ben. I am your new master. I killed Snoke, I'll kill you, my boy. I created Snoke, he was a pawn in the grand scheme of mine, just like your grandfather was, but you might be of use to me. I can complete your training, you can become what Vader could not, but when you've only scratched the surface of your potential, I can help you reach it, and together, we will kill Luke Skywalker. Kylo thought, and then he said, but I don't want to be another apprentice again. I don't want to be used again for someone else's goals. You'll be my apprentice, but you will be the emperor. Once we fully take over, my boy. I'm too old for that. Very well. Teach me the ways of the dark side. Teach me the ways of the Sith. So that's the end of this video. Um, I'm going to make it part two eventually. I'm working on something else right now. So I'm not sure when it's going to come out. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you later. Bye.